Hey guys, Thomas from FT86 Speed Factory, and today we're installing these Intec fender inserts with integrated LED turn signals. Now these are authentic Intec Japan fender garnishes that we've imported into the US for quick delivery times and it features a very nice gloss finish on the outside with a very powerful LED light on the inside. These are going to fit all FRS BRZs 8.6 and the GT86, but if you have an FRS or a GT86, this is going to be a plug and play installation. On the other hand, if you have a BRZ and a new 8.6 like we do, we're gonna have to make a slight modification to the wiring, but I'll explain more about that when we get there. Don't worry, it's not very hard. So first up, let's walk through how you remove the factory fender garnish. And if you're interested in any of the other fender garnishes available on our website, like the Rexbeat carbon fiber garnish or the TRD carbon arrow fins, this is going to be the exact same installation process. Now the only tools we need to remove this factory fender garnish are some fishing line and some gloves to protect our hands. Now with the fishing wire wrapped between your fingers and the door open, go ahead and run this behind the fender garnish. We're going to try to cut through the adhesive behind the fender garnish. Then we can gently lift on the back side and pop out the pop clips. And now we'll need to transfer over these six pop clips onto the Intec fender insert. And these simply slide out and slide into the new one. Now before we go ahead and pop this into place, we'll first need to make sure that we've removed all the old adhesive from the fender. And you can use either Goo Gone with a microfiber towel or a heat gun. Then we can take the wires and feed it through the small slit in the fenders and grab it from the other side. Then all we have to do is take off this 3M adhesive and pop the clips into the fender. Now we can start the wiring process underneath the hood. And we'll take the included Intec wiring harness and plug it into the wire that we just passed through the fender. Then we can run this harness through the fender support so it's out of sight and away from the hot engine bay. Now at this point, if you have an FRS or a GT86, you'll take this end of the wire and plug it in between the factory turn signal wiring that's located underneath the headlight. The best way to access that is through the inner fender lining. But if you have a BRZ or an 86 like we do, you're going to need a couple extra tools in order to modify the wiring harness. So you're going to need a couple of small picks, one that's straight and one that has a couple bends in it. You'll need two T-tabs as well as two male crimp connections and a wire stripper. Now what we'll be doing is taking the black and yellow wire from the Intec harness and plugging them into the headlight wires that control the turn signals. To get our black and yellow wires, we're going to take the female end of the Intec harness and remove that blue wedge in the center. Then we can take the straight pick and pull the tabs out on the two wires to release them out the back. And we can connect these two together to keep them out of the way. Then we'll need to cut these ends off and strip these wires. Then we'll need to add these male crimp connections to each wire. Now we can unplug the connection to the headlight and we'll be looking for two pins. The first one is going to be the second pin from the bottom and this is going to be our flasher connection. Now the other connection we need is our ground wire and that is the third pin on the top row. Now on R86 this is a thick black wire with a white stripe and a silver dot. While on the flasher connection it's a white wire with a red stripe on the driver's side and a solid gray wire on the passenger side. 
Now this could vary between different models, so I recommend you double check your connections before you tap into them. Now with that explanation out of the way, we can take our T-tabs and tap into those two wires, pressing firmly to ensure a good connection. Then all we have left to do is plug in the Intec harness and test out our new turn signals. Now if you guys are tired of your factory fender garnishes, this is a great functional upgrade. Now if you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that like button down below. And if you want to check out these Intec fender inserts, you can head over to our website by clicking right here. Now if you have any questions at all, feel free to send us an email or give us a call. And if you want to watch more videos on how to modify your FRS, BRZ, or 86, check out our latest video and subscribe so you don't miss out on our latest content. This is Thomas and I'll see you guys in the next video. Content. This is Thomas and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh man.